Now safely in Eleuthera waters, it's time to decide our next steps. After consulting the charts and weather forecast, it seems our time in these new waters will be short-lived at best. We are Paige, Daniel, and the Great Dane Winston. For nearly a year now, we have been traveling and exploring our world. Now with the help of our 38-foot sailing catamaran plot twist, our adventures take on a somewhat saltier flavor. This week, we make quick work of the 40 miles between anchorages as we continue to truly stretch our sea legs. We spent the night at Royal Island Harbor to wait for a little storm to kind of come through. And now we are going to head down to Rose Island, just to the northeast of Nassau. It's looking like a 36, 40 mile sail. First things first, we're going to do some engine checks, hoist the anchor, get out of Royal Harbor, start our way down. <laughs> I think so. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make my turn and get us out of here. Yeah. Through that little cut. Call me crazy, but that just seems so close. This is not pleasant. Well, it's because we're taking it on the beam. Are we taking it on the beam all day? No. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and start my turn. I'm going to turn to starboard. Now for the best time on any sailing trip. On beat reach. Six seconds. We're sailing. Woo! It's exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Alright, so for the next step, we need to reach out to our float plan contacts and make sure that they know where we are, where we're going, and when we expect to be there. What time do we expect to be there, darling? Five hours and twenty-six minutes. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, so it's a little choppy out here today. We're just hoping that maybe getting uh, beyond some of the rocks and reefs will help knock this down a little bit. But it's also supposed to lighten throughout the day. And this is, uh, this is no worse seas than we were in the other night, and it's during the day, so. Right, I think Daniel is being a little optimistic about it lightening up during the day. I think it's supposed to be like this pretty consistent all day. Thank you. 
Okay. So maybe we'd be going more downwind? Yeah. So now that we are underway, I think we're gonna have that second cup of coffee. Ooh. I know your ears. I didn't measure the cream, I just poured it. So this is what we use as our preventer, but we also, it kind of does double duty as a boom bay. So it kind of helps keep our boom in shape whenever we let out the main sheet a bit. It's kind of rudimentary and I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not. Well, you know, the wind's dying down a little bit, so, but it's also rounded up a bit more forward of the beam. We may need to trim the sails in. Yeah, yeah, I can probably trim the head sail a little bit. Maybe bring in the main. Does that help? It's like you're taking up about a, about a knot there. I'm glad we kept the reef in. Uh, looks like the wind rounded up a little bit, and now it's 13 to 15, and we're making, you know, six and a half to seven. So I've been looking at our anchorage and starting to look at places and where to go and where the wind is looking at, and, and you know, we can draft you know, in this four foot range right here. So yeah, just trying to find the best places. All right, so that's the marker we're gonna be turning into. Uh, preparing for our landing. We have several things to do. We've 
headsets was one of them. Uh, we're going to drop the main, furl in the head, get the engines going, and then motor in through the navigation through the coral bits and drop anchor. It looks we, it looks like we can see the anchors. So I think we have room for us. Fingers crossed. But first thing we need to do is we need to turn on the engine. Because once we drop the sails, we're just can without engines we're kind of just floating there. So engines on. Checking the exhaust. Negative. This one's doing very well. Okay, to start. That looks better. Trusting on our charts to be accurate. Can you see that dark patch off through our 12, 1 o'clock ish? That's a reef. Nice dark patch. I mean, I guess it'd be cool to just jump off the boat and go snorkeling, but boy, we don't want to swing into it, that's for sure. I might just go right up, like, just go straight ahead, and that might be our spot. Yeah, between the power boat and the monohull. So we made it to Rose Island. We have the anchor down, Winston's free. It is a little warmer than it was this morning, but we have one more thing to do. I get to go jump in diving. to hear that. Oh yeah, super deep. Barely can even see it. Awesome. So, yeah, it's pure sand down there. It's beautiful, is it? Beautiful. Just beautiful. 